Cloud computing. It's not the latest buzzword anymore. Well, that's because it's become such a staple for everyone. We use it knowingly or unknowingly in so many different places, be it online shopping, be it sending an email, be it taking photos, or even a physical thing like visiting a hospital. We are making use of cloud computing directly or indirectly in a lot of different places. Right, so we know that cloud computing is very popular and we know that it has been some time since its introduction. But the question now here is, what is cloud computing? Before we get started, I want to introduce you to Great Learning Academy, a free initiative by Great Learning. You can access over 200 plus courses with 1000 plus hours of free content on trending high demand domains absolutely free. Register now to complete the course and get your free certificate of completion. Check out the link in the description of the video below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoyed this video, show us some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing, so make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. And make sure to comment on the video for any queries or suggestions and I will respond to them. Cloud computing is basically renting resources over the internet. It's like when you wanted to live in your favorite city, but you could not afford to buy a house in that city. So instead of buying, you go ahead and rent a house that is owned by someone else. Similarly, when IT companies are looking to set up their resources, they rent them instead of buying them. Now your question would be, isn't it cheaper to buy a house over long term rather than, you know, rent it? And similarly, wouldn't it be cheaper for IT companies to buy their resources instead of renting them over long term? That's true. But with cloud, it's different. With cloud, you only pay for what you use and you're not paying for the maintenance of those resources, which really reduces the cost for the companies. And this means you're not buying anything, you're not owning anything, and you're not maintaining anything. And with cloud, you only pay for what you use and you only pay for the time you're using it. That's what makes cloud so great and so attractive for everyone. Now, cloud computing has a wide range of application of different products across different domains, such as computing, database management, storage, software development, robotics, Internet of Things, analytics, artificial intelligence, machine learning, augmented reality, virtual reality, and even customer engagement. Actually, the list goes on and on. To give you guys a few good examples, game development companies are making use of cloud to stream their games online. This enables gamers to play their games without having to download them or install them each and every time. Similarly, financial and banking companies are making use of cloud to detect frauds. And software development companies are hosting all of their software over cloud, enabling them for easy management and easy deployment over long term. And all of these services can be provided by the different cloud providers there are out there, like Amazon's AWS or Microsoft's Azure or even Google's Google Cloud Platform and even other providers like DigitalOcean and Alibaba. Now, out of all of these, AWS has the biggest market share. So the effect of cloud is pretty obvious, isn't it? You can see this happening with a lot of different companies. With the older companies that have been established for some time, you can see that they're shifting away from their own hardware to cloud because it's much more cheaper. And with smaller businesses and even startups, you can see them using cloud services to enhance the experience of their customers and improve the quality of products that they are offering. So with this rise in use of cloud computing, you can see the rise in demand for people who have knowledge in cloud. Cloud is still growing, but even then it has a lot more potential. With the way technologies are evolving with respect to artificial intelligence and machine learning, we can see that the trends show that everything around us will eventually be on the cloud. So guys, to summarize, cloud computing is the on-demand delivery of IT resources by the internet. And cloud computing supports various different technologies that help a business 
to become more agile, to become highly scalable, and to be globally deployable. I want to introduce you to Great Learning Academy, a free initiative by Great Learning. You can access over 200 plus courses with 1000 plus hours of free content on trending high demand domains. Absolutely free. Register now to complete the course and get your free certificate of completion. Check out the link in the description of the video below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoyed this video, show us some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing, so make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. And make sure to comment on the video for any queries or suggestions and I will respond to them.